Good morning students. Today we are going to understand chapter 14 geometry and based on our understanding we will try to solve exercise 56. First of all let us understand what is a point, line segment, line and ray. Let's start with point. What is a point? Children, a point is an exact location. When you make a fine dot with a sharp pencil, that dot represents a point. This point has no length, no breadth and no thickness. So, this is just a point. We can also name it like this point can be named as point A. So, this is all about point. Let's move on to line segment. Now line segment, what is a line segment? A straight path starting from point A to point B is called a line segment. So this line segment which we have drawn here is called as line segment AB. We can write it as AB and above AB we will draw a line segment. Now this line segment has two endpoints. First is point A and point B. These are the two endpoints of the line segment AB. A line segment has a definite length which can be easily measured using a ruler. And after measuring this line segment, we can find out that it is of 4 cm. So the length of the line segment AB is 4 cm. You can see many examples of line segments in your house like the edges of the table, edges of the door, edges of the ruler. These all are examples of line segments. Now after understanding what is line segment, let us move on to what is line. Children, a line is an endless straight path that extends on both the directions. So a line has no end point. A line segment has two end points, but a line has no end point. It keeps stretching in both the directions. Now here you can see we have drawn a line and on this line we have taken two points point A and point B. So how we will write this line? This line will be written as line AB. We will write AB and above AB we will draw a line with two arrows on both the sides. So this is the way we denote a line. You can also denote any line using small letters like here we have drawn a line and we can name this line as line L or line M, N, O. Any small letter can be used to represent a line. Now let us move on to ray. What is a ray? Children, a ray is a straight path that has one end point and the opposite side keeps on extending endlessly in that direction. The one end point of the ray is called as its initial point, the point from where the ray starts and then it keeps on extending in the other direction. Now this is point A. From this point A, we will draw a ray like this. And in the opposite direction of the initial point A, we will draw an arrow. It means this ray will endlessly continue in this direction. Let us take any point B on this ray. Now we will call this ray as ray AB. It will be written as AB and above AB, we will draw a small ray. So in this way, we denote any ray. Now after understanding what is a point, a line segment, line and ray, let us try to solve exercise 56. Question number 1. Count the number of line segments and also name them in each of the following figures. So children, some figures are given over here. We have to count all the line segments. Like here in this image, you can see all these edges are there. We have to count all these edges and we have to write the name of these line segments in the notebook. So let us count. This one is the first one and subsequently we will keep numbering all the line segments which are there in this image. Once the numbering of all the line segments are done, you will come to know that there are total 12 line segments in this given image. And after writing the total number of line segments, we will also name all the line segments. Like line segment AB, BC, CD, DA and then DH, HG, GC, GB, BF, FG. 
So similarly, you will write the name of all the line segments which are given over here in this image and make sure whenever you write the name of the line segment, you have to make a line segment on the top of that. Like when you will write line segment AB, you will write AB and you will make a line above it. So in this way, you will do all the questions. In the second also, we can see here, we will number all the line segments which are given over here in this image. And once the numbering of all the line segments are done, you will come to know that there are in total 11 line segments in this image. And after writing the total number of line segments, we will write the name of the line segments as well. Like PQ, PK, KJ, JR, RS, SM, ML, LQ, KL, KM and JM. So these are the line segments which are present in figure number B. Similarly, we will do for figure number C as well. In this figure also, we will count all the line segments which are present in this figure. And after counting all the line segments, we will come to know that there are in total 10 line segments in this figure. And after writing the total number of line segments, we will also write the name of these line segments. Like line segment PY, PQ, QR, RS, ST, TU, UV, VW, WX, XY. So these are the line segments in figure number C. Let's do the same thing for figure number D also. After counting all the line segments which are present in this figure, you will come to know that there are in total 10 line segments. And we have to write the names of these line segments as well. So line segment AB, BC, CD, DA, these are the four major line segments which are on the outer side. Now there are some line segments, slanting lines, which are there inside the figure also. So the long diagonal AC is also a line segment, line segment AC, line segment DB, and then there is a center point O. So DO, OC, OB, OA. So these are the line segments of figure number D. So all these line segments you have to write in your notebook. Let's move on to question number 2. Fill in the blanks. Part A. A line segment has dash endpoints. So we all know a line segment has two endpoints. So here we will write two in the given blank. B. A ray has dash endpoint. So we all know that a ray has only one endpoint. And from the other side it keeps on extending endlessly. So here in the blank we will write one. Part C. A line has dash endpoint. So we know a line has no end point. It keeps on extending endlessly in both the directions. So here in the given blank, we will write no. Part D, in ray PQ, the initial point is dash, while in ray QP, the initial point is dash. So whenever we write name of any ray, first we write the initial point and then we write the another point. So in ray PQ, the initial point is P, while in ray QP, the initial point is Q. So we will write P in the first blank and Q in the next blank. Part E, a dash has a definite length. So we all know a line segment has a definite length. A line keeps on stretching in both the directions, so it has no definite length. And similarly, a ray also keeps on stretching in one direction. So a ray also doesn't have a definite length. So here we will write a line segment always has a definite length. F. A dash has no length, breadth or thickness. So we all know it's the point. Now let's move on to exercise 3. Measure the following line segments and fill in the blanks. So here some line segments are given. We have to measure them using a ruler and we have to find their exact length. Let's start with question number A. Now here point A and point B are the end points of the line segment AB. We will keep the ruler in such a way that the zero of the ruler is at point A and then we will see the length at point B. So after measuring this line segment AB, we will come to know that it is 5.2 centimeter. So the length of the line segment AB is 5.2 centimeter. Similarly, we will measure the line segment CD 
which is given in part B. We will keep the zero of the ruler at point C and then we will see the length of this line segment. So after measuring this line segment, we will come to know that it is of 2.7 centimeter. So the length of the line segment CD is 2.7 centimeter. Similarly, we will measure the line segment EF which is given in part C. We will keep the zero of the ruler at any point, point E or point F. So we will keep the ruler in such a way that the zero is at point E and then we will see the length at point F. So after measuring this line segment EF, we will come to know that it is of 3.5 centimeter. So we will write 3.5 centimeter in the given blank. Question number four, with the help of a ruler, draw a line segment of the length. Now here for this question, there are four parts. The measurement of the line segment is already given. You have to use your ruler and you have to draw a line segment of the given length. Like for part A, we have to draw a line segment of 7 cm. So, you will use your ruler to draw the line segment of the given length. You will mark 0 with a pointed pencil and keep drawing the line segment till it reaches the 7 cm mark on the ruler. Similarly, you will draw all the other line segments given in part B, C and D. Children, you can name these line segments also. So children, in this way, the explanation of exercise 56 of your maths textbook is done. Do like the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. If you have any doubt related to this exercise, please write the same in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All the best children.